um, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Royal Caribbean. I'm going to tell you about that later. Uh, What's up, y'all? You got to get all the fucking up, slacks. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hump oh my day. God. Boo. <laughs> But you making that face like you got the little filter face on from Snapchat. You don't have it on right now, so it's... It's, it's on all the time. Okay, okay. It's on all the time. Okay, what's up, y'all? We got some, some good stuff to, to cover today. We got a lot of stuff to cover, so let's get into it. She says a lot of stuff to cover. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff. And, okay, so if this is your first time watching our show, please subscribe and also click the red bell so you can get notifications. Um, follow us on IG after work AP, AP. okay? Uh, first first things first, rundown. I didn't have a rundown at first today. Dang. Nope, and then right before I left work, the TV was on at my job in, in, in our lobby, and it was TMZ that was on. And um, TMZ, did I say that right? Yeah. And Harvey Levin, the founder of the show, he was reporting on a few things. And you know what? In the middle of me about to turn that TV off, yeah. he annoyed me sometimes. He can be very biased and very one-sided. When he's talking about certain people, he gives them the biggest praise, the biggest benefit of the doubt. These certain people are like who? W people. Oh. Which is cool and fine. But then when he gives stories on... Black people, he can he always throw a little, uh, you know, side gesture in there. I realized that about him, and I really like the TMZ show, but you need to stop doing that. Right. But guess what else is funny? When I Googled him right quick, mm -hmm. guess when his birthday is? What? Same day as mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you still need to fix that. All right, next. We're moving right past that. Um, an after work dinner tip, guys. This is very quick, and this is going to apply to how hot it's been. It's, it's a summer dinner. It's hot. I'm going to get you some angel hair pasta, you know, the thin pasta. You're going to go ahead and boil that. After you're done, let it drain. Drain it out. Let it get cold. Steam you some shrimp. Let the shrimp get cold. Cut the shrimp up. Throw it in the pasta. Get you some Italian dressing. Get you some broccoli. Cut the broccoli up. You can do fresh broccoli. Um, and a glass of wine. Put the pasta in the refrigerator, let it get cold. And that's a nice, cool summertime meal. And pasta is very fulfilling. You can throw all the vegetables you want in there if you want. But that's just a quick tip. You know, some of y'all aunts be making those when you go to cookouts. And everybody don't make it that good. So make sure you don't let the pasta overcook. And don't use too much Italian dressing. Okay? I'll be letting my pasta overcook. Oh, make sure yeah, but you do like your pasta kind of mushy, like no. <laughs> make sure you have a glass of wine with that. Next, 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 we're gonna go into our daily news or trending news. First one up is I want to know what you guys feel about the Jermaine Dupri comment on the female rappers. Um, what do you feel about it, Boo? Did you hear about what he said? Yeah, I heard about what he said. How do you feel about it? Mm hmm. Boo. A little weird that he said it. You think it's weird? Yeah. Why? Because every female probably rapped about that. That's at bad. some point? At, yeah. In the rap game. I don't know about every, but you have a lot but of But you them. do hear it. Often. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like I get his point. Because sometimes you do just want to hear something different. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. Do you like what he said? Um, I think it's job wrong. I think it's. I think it's job wrong. It's like it's like it's like damn, it's job fucked up that he said it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it it, it it's not like not men, true. It's men not talk about the true. same shit. Like, it's, it's, right? You think it was like a double standard? It's no, it, it's not. Because it men, should go both ways. Right, like, it should go both ways. Because I'm men, just saying, men talk about the same thing too. Like right. it's just like it's vice versa. So their like, penis, their balls, yeah. and their cum, their babies, and their money. Right. So that's true. That's kind. Of, that was kind of unfair. But 
Yeah, we that's what I'm all, saying. I feel like both sides talk about it a lot. So. Right. But we would all so like good. to hear, well, I know I would like to hear somebody be very versatile talking right. about different right. things, right. but I'm not shaming the women for talking about it when you got all these men out here talking about whatever they want to talk about. I will tell you this, right. for the little bit of people that know that I was rapping for a little bit of time in my life, um, I'm not going to say I was pushed to talk about those things, but you don't feel as much as support as you should feel on more serious topic songs. Not from all people, anyway. Um, the way that you probably get that support when you're talking about the sexual content. Um, so you have to be strong as an artist and know your direction or and change your direction if you want to and not be so heavily... Uh, should be versatile. should be all around. Yeah. Forward. Should be all around the board. That goes for males too, all around mm -hmm. the board. But Cardi brought up a very important. Uh, uh, what, damn it, I lost my track of thought. She brought a very important, um, true statement, basically. What did she say? That said, a lot of us out here in the world don't support those artists that are not talking about that. Right. This is true as well. You right. know, we have to pay attention to our artists that are talking about politics and the hood and or the the life story you know what i mean mm -hmm. so um you know yeah i think jermaine dupree was a little you know the men talk about that shit all the time you know what i'm saying on both sides it's yeah both sides, they talk both about sides. It on both sides. Um, and we'll get we'll kind of come back around to that later um at the end of our show today next Jermaine, is i felt like jermaine dupree was being an old man Think he was being an old man. Maybe he know. Maybe that was strategic though. Maybe he was trying to pull out certain things from people and also pull people together because Nikki had to say, had something to say. Cardi had something to say. So maybe now they'll join together and kind of show the woman's strength instead of the beefing. He might have did something good. No, they're gonna be forever beefing. Nah, you never know. They gotta get she old knows. at some point. You know, she said, "When you beef with her, you beef forever." forever. I feel she, her. She was, she was I wild. feel her. She was wild. You gotta let she that go at some point. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was laughing. That like, shit was man. funny. I didn't even see it on TV. I just saw it online. Oh, you saw it online? Yeah. 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 Like, oh when God. she said that, I felt that in myself. So that's a lot. <laughs> but at some point, you gotta let the pettiness go. Okay, moving on. Bow wow. I gotta bring this up because they was talk that's what they was talking about on TMZ. So, so, that, so, so Bow Wow that. verse boo. <laughs> All right, my bad. Really? My bad. <laughs> did you did you hear what he said? I think he was in a club and I think it's a verse in a song that he has now talking about how he had Sierra first. Oh, he pulled the Ray J. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's that's what's up. Uh, what do y'all think about that? I think that that's why. No, of I course. Not, I'm not saying that's what's up, but <laughs> that's like funny. you saying that's, that's funny. Funny. yeah. That's he did the same thing. Yeah, I think that's whack. I, I, Y'all need to leave Sierra alone. Sierra has moved on times 10. I never even and, known that. I never even know, known that Bow Wow put out a song. Yeah, I didn't know he put out a song either, but there's a clip of him, something about I had Sierra first. That was like when y'all was almost children and nobody cares. So stop that, man. Don't do that. Okay. Um, and especially that's, if you got a girl, was, that was actually, your girl will be looking at you funny, like that's so funny news right there. That is I, funny. That is funny. Like who cares? Stop it! Like don't down yourself. Like pull the shower, man. You know you're all you the way up the, here, and then you just start pulling you yourself pull. down. Oh, yeah, Ray J. You, you pull the Ray J. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because if I was princess, I would have been looking at my husband. I would have been looking at Ray J. Like what? Who does that? Okay, so drop a comment. Let us know what y'all think about those two things. We're going to get off the celebrities now, and we're going to move on to our main topic for tonight, which is when you have a falling out with a family member, and can you forgive them? And this was by request. Uh, we got a request for this topic, so we're going to cover this. Mm -hmm. We all request. got family. <laughs> What you think, boo? I guess it. Oh, it's on you. You started off. Boo. You know just me. let me do. You just let me do all the talk. You said tonight, in the beginning of the week. Um, I, mean, I just feel. I feel. I'm a filler. Well, most people probably feel like um, it depends on what y'all beefing about. But what I will say is, when your family, that person not gonna go nowhere, right? You don't want him to go nowhere anyway. So. Whatever it is, eventually 
you guys are gonna have to sit down and talk it out because you're family as long as that person ain't like kill your spouse or some crazy shit like that um then you got to sit down and talk about it. Now, it does depend on what it is. Drop a comment if you've gone through something really bad with a family member, how you handled it. Um, you know, there, there's so many different things that can happen between you and a family member. When you're talking about sleeping with one another, spouses and shit like that, I've never been through that. But that's on a whole nother level. Um, with anything, with time, you can forgive. But then you'll probably just never deal with that person the same again. Just natural human nature right mm -hmm. but if it's small stuff like a misunderstanding or you know basic and that's that's basically what a lot of things boil down to is misunderstandings people when they get hurt instead of acting out in like sadness and hurt they act out in anger and aggression and they make the other person think she don't give a f or she just going carry it like that or he going that's how he going to do me but if you really sit down say look mm -hmm. this is how i felt and this is why and let that other person defend their self or say what they feel and why and then you both figure out a way together to come up with a solution then things will just things won't be as serious as we make them and that goes for family members mm -hmm. close friends i you know i've had issues with close close friends None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. Sometimes we say and do stuff, th do things that are very hurtful. But I've always been taught you always go back and you clean your mess up, especially if you feel like you was wrong. Or if you don't feel like you was wrong, sometimes you have to be that bigger person or not even the bigger person. Just be the one that makes it right if you can. Stop being stubborn. Life is too short. You wake up today or tomorrow, find out that person died in their sleep or had a heart attack on the way to work or got hit by a car then how would you how would you feel you know what i'm saying it's not it's not worth it mm, okay so i said enough yeah she did <laughs> said a lot she said a lot well my take on that is you know it's like the court system but you have good relationships with yeah, family members I, I have great relationships you do uh but what i'm saying is if if it de it's like court. It depends on how big uh, the charge, the charge is. is. Like it's, it's, it's that basically that's how it goes, and it goes through my judicial system. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is so you. It's a, it's a two step process. It's a, eh, nah. <laughs> yeah, you know. But I can't. That's just this is how I operate. So it, right. it all so depends like, on you how, gotta assess it. how big of a right. You know. a mess up or whatever it was what? i get you i feel you on that i feel you biggest thing we have to learn to do as black people is um we got to listen to one another and sometimes put your feet in someone else's shoes sometimes people just totally think something that may not be and all you have to do is really talk about it you know what i'm saying right. um try not to yell about it try not to fight about it wait till you both cool off and talk about it you know some people say you know some things are just unforgivable like i ain't forgiving you if you do this and i understand that but with time you got to forgive so you won't be walking around as this better person you right. know right. so um so that's that guys and it won't be a better thing it's just more so of a angry yeah. or you know yeah, or still yeah, feeling some yeah. type of way about it trust yeah, me I'm, not better in my little 35 years and a half i've had times where i let it go i've had times where i've held on for a long time i've had times where i've tried to fix it i've had times where i've let it go then went back and decided nah, i ain't let it go so take it from me work it out <laughs> or you can use my judicial system <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's very quick, very easy. You know, you know, you have the, you have the defendant, and then you know what I'm saying. You have the lawyer and all, and your lawyers and all, and all, and you know, you you decide. Is this crime big enough? Is, it, is this, if, if, is this if, federal, local? Boo, I just need stop. to know. You know? Stop, boo. Like, no, they gonna be. Gonna that, be like, that's how I be doubting. That's how I be thinking in my head. For real. Know? And, so, and this is the, if you feel like it's. If it's, you know, little past 
not super, super bad, but if you feel like it's bad enough, sometimes you got to feed people with a long-handed spoon for a little while. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that'll change things. Maybe they'll get the point of, ah, I can't do that no more. And or maybe you'll calm down over time. Like sometimes you do have to push people away, even if they're family, because you can't allow people to, you know, constantly hurt you or anything that's going to make you happy. It begins to be unhealthy. So sometimes you do got to feed people with that long handed spoon. But if you really love your family member, especially if y'all had a close relationship, at some point you're going to have to deal with it, you know? Backstab the um, part I'm not with, though. Yeah, no. Don't, don't, don't backstab, you That's know? Not that real serious, serious stuff. Um, and sometimes, you know, we all make mistakes, not like sleeping with nobody. I don't know how to deal with that. Drop a comment if you've been through that. Um, and what do you suggest on that? But if you just done something that was pretty, pretty bad and the, the other person may feel like you are quote, unquote, backstabbing or whatever, then um, you have to figure out why is it that you did those things and if you really want to hold on to the relationship with that family member let them know and, and apologize and set and, and find out how you can fix it people don't know how to say i'm sorry no more or my bad and sometimes people don't want to receive you know, it. I know something something happened to me that i really fucked that a family member you know was really fucked up and for did, real you know, and, and what what you I forgave i forgave that family member Real life, real talk. Takes real time. Talk. It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I'll be, I be talking to him today, today, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, to this day. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. on IG and whatnot, you know what I'm saying. But that's wild, like, you know. Yeah, with time. I mean, I'm with me, um, I've, with a family member, the only family member issue I have, it's a dated, it's a work in pro progress every day. And I told myself a long time ago that this is going to be a daily work in progress. And that's because the relationship with me and that person is, uh, that's one of the more uh, closer or serious relationships. And that's, every family member is important. But you know, you have your mom, your daughter, you have your cousins, you have your different ways that you're close with someone. So mine is a little bit more on the closer side. And... I have to daily remind myself that this is a daily work in progress. And that's what keeps me healthy and not having flashbacks like I used to do when I was a teen or when I was in my early, early 20s where I would just flat, you know, freak out in the worst way, like go psycho. Um, so some relationships are like that they're constantly working and some people just say f it i'm not i'm not in for doing all of that i did that for years like i'm not about to do that long handed spoon for years on a serious relationship in my life but with time you know you learn to accept okay so um let us know guys what you think now we are going to do some acknowledgments so bringing it back to what we were talking about earlier I want to acknowledge two female rappers that I've been following a little bit. And they are, man, they fire. They make me realize when I was rapping, I should have kept, I should have kept practicing. Okay? I should have kept practicing. So this is at her page. I'm gonna spell it. O-R-A-N-I-C-U-H-H. -H, and we'll put this in the comments on our Instagram page for tonight. And also, you guys probably know Tierra Wack, and Wack is W-H-A-C-K, okay? Um, both dope female rappers, like support them. I posted uh, Oriental. I'm, hopefully, I'm not saying it wrong. I posted her today. She didn't even get that much views. But let me have posted some butt naked girl bent over backwards. A million views. You know what I'm saying? Um, so please support her. The last person we want to add tonight is a DMV to a worldwide global artist. I don't like to use the term local. I hate that term. It puts you in a box. It constrains you. So he is definitely DMV to global artists. Um, I am Tariq R&B. Uh, that's I-A-M-T-A-R-I-Q-R-N-B. Yeah, R&B. Got it. Okay? So I'll put that in the comments as well. Go support him. He got a new video out. If you go to his page, you click the link in his bio, you'll be able to see his video. Okay? And we have to... What I what I want to remind everybody is a little note. Y'all who follow and support all these celebrities, 
Remember, they were once a local artist trying to get somewhere. So support your friends and your family and your neighbors and their crafts, not just when they get to a certain level, okay? Uh, we we so often do that. Anybody, if you got a friend that's in podcasts, you got a friend that's trying to open a hair business, or you got a friend that's out there singing at an open mic every night, uh, rapper, support that person. Don't be looking at that person like, I don't take them serious, but you take Cardi B serious. And Cardi B used to be doing the same thing on her phone, on her YouTube, trying to make people laugh. Support your people. Don't hate on your family and your friends and only want to support them when they get some money or when they get somewhere. We got to stop doing that. And these whack-ass uh, promoters and some of these people at these clubs, it's, I hope they're not still doing that bullshit list, put you on the list shit and look out just for their homeboys and their friends. DMV is famous for that shit. And that's why DMV haven't gotten as far as we need to get, like Atlanta, down south. You know what I'm saying? Cali and different areas in New York who really get further along in the game quicker. Please, DMV, get that together, okay? Um, and shout out to all the good DJs who actually do support. Um, that's what I got. What you got? <laughs> I'm on uh, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. There you. Tyra. You know what I'm um, That's all we got for tonight, y'all. Oh, also... I want to shout out at Chase Cuts at Ebony Barbers. <laughs> yes, yes. Excuse me. Excuse Chase Cuts. Me. We'll put, we'll add him on the uh, Instagram thing tonight no, again, too. Um, and uh, y'all be easy, man. Yeah, I said a lot tonight. Work, work, after work or before work. Make sure you watch this video. Try yes, please do. Drop a comment. Let us know how you feel. Talk about us, how and you feel hit about that us. Like. Hit that like. Hit that. Yes, please hit, hit that. that. Like. Don't just watch. All right. <laughs> All right. And comment. You know yeah, comment. Saying? Let Don't us be know. Be scared to comment. And let us know what y'all want us to touch on. Right. And y'all think we're keeping it too clean? Because that let topic, us know. we got. You know, we got a good topic today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got honest, honestly, guys. Please tune in tomorrow night. I have a very Good topic tomorrow night. You have a very good topic too, boo. Yeah, I do. Um, but tomorrow is going to be, it's serious, but I need you guys to watch because I need you to go out there and look into it and support, but I don't want to tell you about it tonight. And share this video with others. Yeah, please share it. Bye. <laughs> Bye.